here and I appreciate you letting me do this. So, but I'm gonna um, just talk about what I'm doing here. And I mean, yeah, I think that what we're doing, this is the way to go. Just try it, see what happens. If we need to, we're just gonna have to move some stuff and I'll break out my break. I have my stretcher. We will do the whole deal, but I want to make sure this isn't going to be a problem for you down the road. So if I can't kick it, you get it really tight. So, all right. Okay. We're getting ready to do a um, carpet repair here. There's an issue with the tack strip coming up. I can see they glued it down in sections already. So I'm going to nail it down with my uh, concrete nails. Get it secure. After that, I'm going to try kicking it in with a, a knee kicker. I have my knee kicker here. Okay. So I'll, I'm going to try using that. If that doesn't work, we're going to break out the poles. But for now, this is what we're going to try to do and see if this will get the job done. It is frayed back pretty far. So I'm a little concerned about that. I have a feeling the knee kicker is not going to work, but I'm going to try it. First things first, I'm going to nail it down and get this strip secure. There it is, it is glued down with liquid nail part of the way. Usually liquid nail will work. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it didn't, but um, obviously it didn't hold. Uh oh, that didn't go very well. Hmm, it's not holding at all. Oh, crud. If that happens, we're going to have to re-glue re it. This isn't going very good. Okay. If I have to re-glue it, it's going to, we won't be able to finish it today. It is not going in right at all. For some reason, this isn't. So they glued it the before. It was already glued down. That means there were already issues. So, mm -hmm. but to me, this new concrete, sh it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. That's very unusual for a new concrete. It's usually that 50 year old house of concrete that's been curing all that time. It just gets really. a nice house. I didn't bring my dust pan, dust pan and Broom. dust brush. Would you by chance have one, sir? I have that. I have a mini vacuum that might work. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I glue it down, it doesn't come up. I get it. I don't know how they had a problem with that. Once that liquid nail is used, it's good. Never had that problem, so, huh. That's unfortunate. You pulled the tail.
Hey puppy, I have to go get some tap strip. <laughs> okay. Cotton, come here. Cotton. Okay, trying to get some new tack strip down here. I really want to get this done for him today. I don't want him to come back. <laughs> See that sound? There. Kind of stuff, huh? It wants, you want it to be a more solid sound when you're pounding in mm -hmm. into concrete. You want it to be a more thud than a hollow. Same thing. Hmm. Good boy. 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 Good Concrete for you. Got it. Now this one popped up. See that sound is the worst. That's just not gonna go. Uh. That's not good. It's just not a good. Now you can see why they glued it. Well, that just throws the whole thing off because I brought glue too just to make sure but I was hoping like crazy I could nail it and the fact that it was already glued man come on see that sound is just that's what tells me that I'm in trouble Yeah, longer ones is what I'm thinking. Usually these stubbies are perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of the long ones. Huh. 
Lucky. When you're having problems with concrete going in, sometimes a longer nail will work. I'm using stubbies. Stubbies are great. This is the type of nail that um, comes out of the most tack strip has these. So I'm going to try this longer. I'm pretty sure that uh, these are three eighths and these are half inch. The one I'm using here is a half. That wasn't too bad, huh? That's good, he went through it. There you go, see that? I think that's making the difference, huh? Okay. Hello. Having a nail a lot, huh? That didn't go though, okay. See, I can see the concrete mm -hmm. getting chewed up there. Did you see that? Yeah, the, the, like a powder. Right, like a powder, exactly. God, it's a stick. Most of it's sticking. The half inch nails work? I think so. It's working right. better. I think so. That's great news. Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah. I think I have it. I think I have that one secure enough. I need to save those just in case I need them for over here. Yeah, we're gonna have somebody else coming to fix those. <laughs> so cute. See how I'm doing that? I'm easing it in, just real mm -hmm. gentle. Okay. I'm not, I don't want to break it more. Mm -hmm. oh, That's that one. Yeah. It's like the old days. <laughs> yeah. It's like the old days, what I used to do every day. This is wood. This is pounded in and done already five minutes ago. Nope. This is life with concrete. And most floors are concrete around here. Yeah. 
leave it in there? Beautiful. Okay, here's where we're at right now. So, we were having trouble getting this tax strip in. I used some half inch nails, concrete nails, and that did the trick. So um, I tried kicking it, that's not going to work, but I did get this tack strip to stick. It was glued down before, but I, I got it to go, I got it, I got it nailed. So now I feel good, I feel it's secure enough to stretch. Um, I was going to use my kicker, did you get that Nelly? Yes. While I was trying to kick it? Uh -huh. Okay, I was going to use the kicker. This carpet is just too frayed. I'm gonna have to get a good stretch to get it past this frayed part of the carpet. See right here, are you getting that? Get it, See how frayed that is? That's really in rough shape there. So I gotta get, I gotta get a stretch all the way across to get it past that point. Here I'm quickly putting my poles together so I can use my power stretcher my Roberts Jr. power stretcher, which I've owned for 25 years, um, putting it together so I can get some power stretching done to get this job done just right. That's one good stretch already. Will not work.
It's kind of hard to find somebody who can do things like this. Nobody wants to come over just to do a little. Yeah, that's that. When I heard that, I was like, we need to get out there and help them. I hate that. That's a bummer. <laughs> She's checking it right away. I know, she's adorable. Oh, sweetheart. It's a nice Daddy. style to have over here, huh? I know. This is shiny. See, I'm even having to cut carpet back because mm -hmm. I got such a good stretch. I'm sweating like crazy, huh? Yes. I love kitty. That cat, man. See why I love cats? They're mm -hmm. really cute. They both have a very furry animal. It's true. It's just you love. Are you getting me getting doing this? Yes. Using my pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Not a lot of installers use these. I love it. Nice carpet. 
Yeah, it's a good carpet. I'm getting that one, I'm going up, getting it closer. See? Yeah. Nice and secure. Mm -hmm. It's solid, it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So that worked. Now I'm just gonna clean up my mess, pack up my tools, and we're ready to go. See ya.